Not all superintendents were school teachers, but many were. Good evening, everyone. Buenas tardes a todos, and I have a lot to report this month, uh, but it includes both celebration and loss over the fall break. Many of you know our Littleton family lost a young teacher who was loved and respected by staff and students alike. That was Miss Heather Began, and um, staff from across the district pulled together to support each other, their students, and the community. Dr. Durazo, who's here tonight, masterfully managed the needs and the challenges of the school community and shared a beautiful eulogy at Heather's celebration of life. Her family established the, um, an education fund, a scholarship program to honor her life, and many of us have made contributions. The Littleton Education Foundation board voted to send $2,000 to the charity to help get it started, and Heather's parents were extremely warm and gracious despite their obvious grief and complimented their daughter's Littleton family. News uh, from last week filled us all with a great sense of optimism for our school district um, uh, and gratitude to our constituents. We want to thank everyone who took time to mail in or drop off their ballots for the November election. Seems like we had a lot of them dropped off on election day. I'm thinking in the neighborhood of um, 500 or so. Um, by exercising that right and responsibility, citizens have set a positive example of civic participation for our students. They've contributed to a stronger democracy. So on behalf of the board, the faculty, the staff, especially students and families, I want to sincerely thank all the voters in our community for supporting the district and its students. This was a mail-in election, and total participation uh, was much lower. Um, it's, it was over 5,500 voters lower than the last time when we had a, a regular election. So our mail-in participation um, gets, gosh, a third of the participation that we see in a regular election when people vote at the polls. But the measure passed by over uh, 56%, giving us a pretty wide margin of approval. Um, voters added... Um, Four or five hundred ballots by the end of uh, May, from the end of mailing on election day, and so uh, we saw a continued stream of uh, community members dropping off their ballots. We had a ballot drop box here at the district office. Our receptionist stayed here till seven, which isn't her normal hours, to allow people to drop off ballots. And um, one of the voter moms came in with a plate of cookies for her. She was so nice, and. That's a great reflection on our community. Um, we look forward to being able to continue offering full-day kindergarten, low class sizes, a music, art, PE programs, after-school athletics, and club programs for at least five more years, uh, thanks to all of you. Um, fall each year brings many important activities to our schools that compromise a well-rounded education, and our teachers from across the district um, had uh, parent-teacher conferences and kids uh, discuss academic behavior, social well-being. Uh, we held over 5,300 conferences, which puts the parent participation at about 85%. Uh, that's pretty typical from year to year. Activities that were also held the first Saturday of October were Love Our Schools Day. I hope some of you got a chance to be part of that. I want to thank all the community volunteers, including students from Millennial High, who showed up ready to work and improving our campuses. Businesses such as the Phoenix Tool Bank, Home Depot, and Fry's made generous donations to help make that day a success. Um, also last month, all of our schools participated in Red Ribbon Week and National Bullying Prevention Month activities. At Fine Art, students dressed up differently each day and spread the important messages about uh, living drug-free. Trace Rios shared morning announcements, messages, messages with students promoting a drug-free lifestyle, and teachers engaged students in conversations around healthy choices, the ideals of Red Ribbon Week. Country Place Leadership Academy had uh, student leaders present on topics. All right present on the topic of bullying to each class, and teachers provided resources about bullying. Teachers had an empathy teaching blitz at the end of the month, and everyone, students and staff, wore a blue shirt for bullying awareness. At Astoria Vista, students uh, created posters to stop out bullying, and their bully awareness
Kindness and Kindness Club developed activities such as eating lunch with a new student to make new friends. I was just at a meeting where I saw a 15-year-old girl created an app to eat lunch with somebody new for new kids who came in. And this was a high school kid who didn't know where to sit. There's an app on your phone now that she made and sold to solve the where do you kids eat lunch problem for teenagers in school. Is that so cool? Anyway, thanks. Um, uh, that was uh, that's a great idea from EV. Um, students and staff yesterday um, uh, had yesterday off to observe Veterans Day with friends and family. And this month, we celebrate our men and women who serve to protect our freedoms. And all of our schools were participating in activities in honor of our military personnel. Littleton STEM Academy students made cards to present to veterans from various branches of the military who came to talk to our students about the importance of school and education. At Trace Rios, they hosted a Veterans Day variety show, um, which Ms. Soshnik uh, talked about. Guests had an opportunity to view Veterans Wall as they made their way into the cafenasium for spaghetti dinner uh, with zero leftovers. Somehow they exactly nailed the food. I don't know how they did that. Local and state leaders, um, Ms. Soshnik, other community members, military veterans were all guests. Um, there seems like there's a lot of days out of school in November, but other programs keep moving along. So Astoria Vista's Junior Palm and Middle School cheerleaders cheered their way through Billy Moore Day's parade, took place third overall in the parade. Congratulations to them. Those ladies worked very hard to earn their spot in the community recognition. So congratulations. And then softball and flag football seasons are underway now. Students are having fun and getting ready for playoffs Playoffs are going to begin December 3rd. Flag football games are at Fine Arts Academy, Quentin STEM Academy for Health Life Sciences, and Estrella STEM Academy for Engineering. Softball games are at <coughs> Trace Rio Service Academy. Is that right? Yes. Okay, because I thought we were moving games for lights or something like that. So I'm, I have the... And Littleton STEM Academy... Uh, for technology and computers. Those games start at 4.45, and the reason I was double-checking is because the days are getting shorter and we needed to find lights. So I want to make sure I had that right. October also saw um, several groups of 6th graders head off to Friendly Pines. Two busloads of 7th graders made the journey to Catalina Island for some unique outdoor education experiences. Those students had fantastic and memorable trips. Many of the students had never been to high altitude forests or to the ocean. And so we want to share our appreciation once again to the board, Littleton Education Foundation, for helping to supplement the expenses of our students so many more could enjoy these wonderful experiences. I'd also like to express our appreciation to Carmen Gomez of Quentin PTA for their donations to school field trips to Brad Kramer with Grads Photography or her check donation, and to Don Gerardo for with Read on Avondale program for their book donation for first and second grade classrooms throughout our schools. That's all I have to see.